Hey, it's Ronnie, and I'm stoked to take you through my journey from a retail manager to breaking free from the nine to five grind back in November 2019. So in this video, buckle up for a deep dive into each phase I went through, peppered with examples and personal stories. And it's going to be a detailed journey. So grab a snack, get comfy, and let's navigate through the transformative stages I went through that you're probably going through too. Now, if you've never heard of me, my name is Dad Learns Money. I'm an introvert who went from homeless to homeowner with high ticket affiliate marketing. And I've done multiple six and seven figures with my own online business, as well as promoting other multiple affiliate products and services. Now, my goal for this channel is to help you build an infinite passive income business and achieve financial and time freedom, especially if you hate your job exactly like I did. Now, all right, so let's dive into it. Stage one, which is the opportunity phase. So back in November 2019, that year was a game changer. Now picture this. I'm a retail manager yearning for change. My nights were filled with endless Google and YouTube searches. And the mission finding that golden opportunity to break free from the nine to five routine. You ever typed in how to make money online? But then you resonate with the struggle, the uncertainty, and the relentless pursuit of a way out. Now, this phase is all about the quest for opportunity, exploring possibilities, and the resilience to keep searching despite the unknown. Which brings us to step two, which is so simple, getting started. Now, fast forward to the getting started. I'm a former retail manager navigating through the maze of various business models. And there it is, affiliate marketing. And it was like a beacon of light amid all the chaos I was going through. It offers relief from product creation hassles and customer service nightmares. And my advice, take the lead, pick a direction, and just get started. This phase is all about overcoming the fear of the unknown, the hesitation of making the right decision, and the courage to step into uncharted territory. Now, stage three is what we call the tech stage. Let's talk about this. As a retail manager with minimal tech background, building systems, websites, and funnels seemed like a daunting task. But guess what? I approached it as a new skill to conquer, realizing that overcoming this stage was crucial for my journey. This phase is all about embracing a new skill set, conquering self-doubt, and laying the foundation for the tech-driven journey ahead. This is going to prepare you for step four, which is free traffic. Now, Transitioning into the free traffic stage was no walk in the park, especially for a former retail manager like me. Creating content on platforms like TikTok and YouTube felt unfamiliar and imposter syndrome knocked on my doors. But here's the lesson. People connect with the journey, not just the polished results. This phase is all about finding the courage to share my journey authentically connecting with others and realizing the power of relatability in the digital space. Which brings us to step five, optimizing and testing. Stage five, where the real fun began, optimizing and testing. Imagine a retail manager turning into a data enthusiast, refining videos, content, funnels, and emails based on the insights I gathered. This stage was the turning point where I witnessed serious results. It's all about data-driven growth, the satisfaction of seeing hard work pay off, and the continuous pursuit of improvement in the evolving digital landscape. This is going to prepare you for stage six, which is copywriting and storytelling. Now let's delve into the copywriting and storytelling phase. This is a game changer for a retail manager seeking to break into the seven-figure realm. I realized that knowing what works in your business is only half the battle. Crafting the right words to inspire action, that's where the magic happens. This phase is all about mastering the art of communication, connecting with the audience on a deeper level, and leveraging the narrative to drive engagement and conversions. And once you've done that and you've mastered that, that'll bring you into stage seven which is building a team. As a retail manager, the idea of building a team seemed like a daunting shift. Control and fear loomed over me. But once I embraced it, I saw the transformation. Building a team allowed me to focus on scaling up my business, moving beyond the limitations of being a solopreneur. 
This phase is all about evolving from a solo player to a team leader, recognizing the power of collaboration and achieving sustainable growth. And finally, guys, this is what's going to lead you to stage eight, pouring gasoline on the fire. I want you to picture a former retail manager with, with a well-established system and a team. The time had come to consider paid ads and invest the money to, to fuel the business's rapid growth. Now, this is an exciting phase, knowing that I had the foundation to scale even further. This phase is all about taking calculated risk, embracing the potential of paid advertising, and propelling the business to new heights in a dynamic and competitive digital landscape. So that's my journey through the eight stages after leaving my retail manager job in November of 2019. If you find yourself resonating with any of these phases or stories, drop a comment. I'm here to share insights and guide you. So until next time, I want you guys to stay blessed and I'll see you on the other side of success.